My name is Ishan Tiwari. I'm a data science manager with one of the FANG companies. Today, I'm going to talk about one of the most important, but one of the least prepared interview rounds. Today, I'm going to talk about why we conduct behavioral interviews, how behavioral interviews happen, what are the things people check and how to ace these interviews. So let's get started. So behavioral interview is basically a way of checking how you are as a person. We can check your theoretical knowledge through coding rounds or case studies. But what about your soft aspects? How are you as a team player? These are the things we check through the behavioral interview rounds. Now, why do we even conduct this? So as a hiring manager, if I have to think about whether you are a good team player, you are going to be a good fit. And especially if you are going to working with a big tech company or a fang company, it becomes very important to know that you are a kind of person who knows how to work with cross-functional teams, who can influence people. You have to work with multiple stakeholders in each situation, in each project. And if you don't possess those soft skills, you might not be able to succeed. So to ensure these and pick these signals, people conduct behavioral rounds. Ideally, if I have unlimited time, I would hire a person as an intern, observe that person for six months, see how that person is performing in terms of soft scale, how do they communicate, how do they plan, how do they react to a situation and then I have good signals. But unfortunately, in real world, we don't have those kind of luxury. We can't hire everyone as an intern and check. And that's why behavioral interview comes very handy. Now let's talk about how do we conduct behavior interviews or like how these interviews are framed in a in any company's process. So different companies have different round for this. Some companies have a very specific round, whereas some companies just put one or two questions here and there in each round and pick it. Let's talk about few top companies. So everyone must have heard about famous Googliness round where they check, are you Googly enough to be Google? That is a behavioral round. Similarly, in Facebook, if you are applying for a tech role, you have one behavioral round where you might be talking to a hiring manager or product manager, they will ask some specific questions. If you are applying for a non-tech role or a program manager kind of role, they would be multiple rounds like working with data or working with stakeholders, working with cross-functional teams, approach to work. These names are all misnomer, but everything is intended at checking your behavioral skills. Similarly, if you go for Amazon, their famous principal round where they will be checking how do you fit in each Amazon principal. Atlassian something, uh, do something very similar. In Airbnb, they call it culture fit. In Uber, they call it bar razor. But at the crux, all of these companies are interested to understand how do you approach your work? What's your approach to work? How you work with team? How do you lead? Can you lead without authority? And best way to check these is through behavioral rounds, understanding your past experience. Now, now let's talk about how to ease these behavioral rounds. What are the things we need to do so that we pass these rounds with flying colors? I'm sure most of you must have heard about the famous STAR framework. This is a very effective framework, but most of the time people don't know how to use this STAR framework. STAR framework stands for situation, task, action, results. But sometimes people just become way too verbose. Sometimes people just don't share much needed information and end up giving more than optimal answer. So what we have to learn about using this framework is we have to give sufficient information through which interviewer can gauge the signals. They can ask one or two follow up questions, but they have all the key information. I personally don't like this star framework, but through taking multiple interviews and giving multiple interviews, I feel there were some things which were missing in star format. So I tweaked it as per my understanding and I call it SSTARL uh, framework. So one good thing is when I listen to a lot of interviewers and I when, when I was giving interviews, what I feel like sometimes these behavioral questions might get very lengthy. So maybe three, four minutes and there is a thing called attention span, which interviewer might lack. 